essentially what you're trying to do in self-defense is you've got to get like a trump card, you know, and more often than not, it's an element of surprise, this guy just nails it. And you have to like not only recover from that, but trump him so that you're ahead of the game. So when, when the strike comes, it's just slapping out of the way, moving in and hitting him. You know, so we're today. So we're grabbing each other. I started hitting him, he doesn't like it. So he has a great idea that he's going to shoot his head in. So he shoots his head in, and then he just chokes. And you can also turn him around to choke to the rear. So like, if I come down here and he tries to choke, and if I try to walk that, he can just spin me around and he's putting me in a rear choke. And I'm like, shit, I thought I was doing so good there for a second. Um, some of the body motions that you do that you try to wire into your brain, even if you don't know exactly what punch is coming, if you're just doing the motions that you were trained to do, if you can stay in that, you'll save yourself. A lot of times the motions will save you, you'll get techniques you didn't even know were there. So the best techniques are going to be the ones that come from back here, from basically the reptilian brain, or not the ones that you've got it all figured out up here, they're the ones that you don't know what's going on, and your body's just going to move and react, and the motion that you do saves you, that's what you're trained for. What I'm going to do here is, I'm going to take this hand, the thumb is the weakest part of the grip. Break his thumb, actually. But what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to open him up, up through his eye, up to the pressure point behind the ear. Okay? And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come in here. The sand's going to go on this side. The sand's going to go here. And I'm going to really block it up the private artery. And then my hands are going to be like scissors and they're going to come together. Okay? This way. This way. This way. This way. So if I want to jump in here, this is the flex. Very soft, and it's not too. You got this one. You got this way. You got this way. Sand you got this way. Okay. You got this way. Down with the back hand. See the back hand. Forward. But now you got double. See? So you got double. So when you uh, do it slow, my whole body is to uh, the tree trunk, hopefully, <coughs> to the floor. And I'm, when I'm moving my body, it can be short. First, Henry. I'm more of a boxer, so I'm gonna throw my hand up in there. He's gonna block it. Come under, under his shoulder, pop up. Now my arms should just whip around. I can hold him this way and still have control. Lock my legs out, and if it's nobody else is around, I just wanna take him out, triangle it, over his eyes, his face, his nose, and then squeeze. It should take less than a second. These seminars like my, my chance to kind of try to keep an A to keep above my students. And just kind of keep progressing and not just stagnating. You know, there's always people here that always push me and force my mind in different directions. I just really appreciate it. Thanks. Okay.